Boom! What's going on guys? My name's Zach and today we've got a little bit of After Effects tutorial. Um, I'm still a massive nub at doing After Effects stuff so I'm not really qualified to do a tutorial but I thought I'd just show you how um, I did some effects on the Doomsday Macarial video I did. I had a lot of questions about like where I got the UIs from and stuff like that so... Um, but the main part I want to cover is the floating point camera on EVE Online and it's sort of like a natural sort of head movement sort of natural thing but I, I don't know what the fuck it is but it sort of moves in a figure eight and it's really subtle but when you're doing tracking effects such as like the UIs where it's zooming in and zooming out it becomes a massive issue especially when you're new like me at After Effects so I'll just show you what I mean you can't really see it moving around but I'm sure everyone's aware of the, like the slow movement so if we zoom in a little bit there we go that's a bit better so you can see the natural movement and then after doing the Mac video um, tracking the the camera it sort of moves in a figure eight but the figure eight sort of like sideways it's sort of like explain but what we're going to do we're going to use this footage actually I'll get rid of me mouse here let's have a look all right so we'll zoom in a bit more a bit too far right so we'll use this as stock footage sort of thing and we'll put some shiny UIs on it and try and make it look very nice and that'll be a quick little tutorial so Basically, fighting the camera is the theme, and let's get started. Okay guys, so we've got After Effects up and running now, and we've imported our EVE footage of the, um, the track that we're going to do. But just before we do the track, I'm going to show what it will look like. I've just went ahead and done this already. Uh, it's a bit jerky with fraps on, but you can see the actual natural movement of the game, and the UI, which is actually tracking with the gun as well. So. I'll show you how to do that. I mean, that's a really quick example. You can see there's a few quirks in it. So, um, but yeah, let's get cracking with that. So that's the UI as well. We need to import, and we're going to make a new composition with the Eve footage. Skip to the end where the track was. It's about right, isn't it? I've got my UI, which I've already pre-rendered. And it's obviously on a black background, so we're going to have to set the blending mode to add, which is much like screen in Photoshop. Um, we're going to make sure the size is all right. I think that's a bit small. Yeah, I think we need to make that a little bit bigger. Oop. Drag that out a bit. Okay, so you can see this UI has not got a center point. It's just all clear in the middle. So. What I tend to do when I'm using things like this, if you actually just select the layer, the anchor point is always in the center. So this is that little point here. And uh, normally I just pick a part of the ship or the gun. We'll, we'll pick this part here and we'll always use this part of the gun to track this anchor point with. So that makes it like easier for yourself. So all we need to do is go to transform. So this is what animation presets and stuff. Um, this gives you the position coordinates of the actual UI as long as I've got that selected. So this is the start position, so we'll just hit a start point there. And all we need to do from here on in, guys, is just move the slider along a few frames or frame by frame if you really uh, want to be anal about it and get it absolutely perfect like I did with the Mac stuff. But obviously that was a, like a full production where you, you're obviously going to take more time. But for this, I'm just going to blast right through it. So basically you'll see when I move the slider as the video plays, the gun actually moves but that's just the natural tracking of EVE so all we need to do is put this anchor point back onto the point where we're going to anchor the actual UI to which is pretty easy so we just need to make a actually we can just drag this so we'll just drag it back to that point and you can see the center is back on there so that's easy enough and we'll just drag it a few more and rinse and repeat doesn't take too long when you're flying through it like this like I say, it's very rough this, but uh, you can see just how much the camera does actually move. And it does get quite deceiving when you're zoomed in quite far, so um, it is nice to have it all fully tracked up. And like I say, frame by frame is always the best option, but you don't, well, you don't really need to go that far, but you can to make it look super nice. And you can, there's the side of the figure eight form in there. That's the natural tracking of the game I didn't find that out until I was actually doing the the Mac video but let's skip on a bit further so it is quite easy once you understand how the stuff works but 
like I said, is a tedious thing to do. And I did quite a lot of this for the Mac video and my head was hurt. I had many coffees. I ended up drinking lots of alcohol at the end of it because that was two days of hell. <laughs> Anyone who knows what I'm talking about who makes videos will know that doing stuff like this is quite time consuming and repetitive. So that's just about it done. So that's a very rough, rough, rough track there. So we've got where start point so all of these tracking points well all of these positional points all that all that's doing is telling the after effects where to put this ui image so we'll just start it off here and as you can see now it'll actually track with the gun and because we've always got the same tracking point to focus on on each keyframe that's what makes it so much easier and that's where you, you get the good follow but I mean that's really rough um, you can probably say it's not actually perfect but it's cool you can have some like um, some good effects like text effects so you could zoom it in and have the like the 425 millimeter auto cannons sort of flashing up and uh, it looks really cool so like I said I've pre-rendered this already and probably play it again a couple of times I'll probably add some special effects on like the like the UI sounds and stuff like that just to give it a bit more depth and all of these things like add towards making it like sort of believable as you as it would be sort of in the game and it would be a real cool addition if this actually did happen when you, if you zoomed into weapons it would give you like a like a, a holographic show info sort of thing that would be really cool but I hope that helps guys um like I say it's quite simple but very very tedious it's like ratting a null sec to make esk it's just oh it's great for like five minutes and then it's just like you realize how long you're going to be doing it for to get any good results so hope you enjoyed it guys if you'd like to see some more of these tutorials please let us know and i can put some up so that's it i'll see you in the next episode